Well, good morning. This week's Monday meditation is coming from the Gospel of Luke. Uh, that's where we're, we've been for the last several weeks in our meditations. And we're just concentrating on the Gospel of Luke and especially those passages that revolve around the birth of Jesus Christ during this Christmas season. We really want to focus in on that truth. So we're going to be in Luke chapter 2. Uh, for this week's meditation, I'm going to read verses 1 through 7. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, and I trust it will be an encouragement to you as you begin your week. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swallowing clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. This passage is so very familiar to us, We've probably heard it read multiple times during the Christmas season that we lose sight of all that is going on here. The political pressure of Joseph and Mary having to travel because the government told them to. The societal pressure of an unwed uh, young girl pregnant traveling with her fiance, a little more than a fiance in that culture. Uh, the family pressure of uh, trying to find a place to stay in your hometown. All of these things kind of press together to make us realize once again that the birth of Jesus was anything but peace on earth and calm and silent night. Uh, Jesus came into the world, a world broken and a world of turmoil. And that broken world, that tumultuous world was in his own family setting. And we really need to think about that, that God doesn't keep himself distant from our pain, but Christmas tells us that God enters into our pain. And so this week, no matter what you might go through, remember that God has entered into this world, entered into our pain, and we can find strength and grace and help in our pain from him. And let that be an encouragement to you this week. God bless.